I was just so petrified of singing in front of people. So I can't believe I used to eat those. I've never played in front of this many people in my life. Cause everybody's trying to be famous. And I'm just trying to find a place to hide. Okay, ready. I'ma tell them all. I'ma tell them all that you can either hate me or love me. But that's just the way I am. I'ma tell them all. I'ma tell them all that you can either hate me or love me. The first time I heard Charlie Puth was See You Again with Wiz Khalifa. I remember looking at my boss like, this kid's gonna be big someday. It's such an uplifting album, and it's a lot different than what other pop stars are doing right now, so it really stands out. I think it's one of the best records of the year. Charlie is gonna be on the Honda Civic Tour this summer. It takes him to a whole nother level. I think about the first time that I ever toured, and it was in front of like 400 people. He's doing venues that are gonna be 12,000 plus. Charlie embodies what Honda's all about. I mean, here's somebody, when you look at his career, that's determined to be a star. How long has the Honda Civic Tour been around? Like 17 years? It's kind of amazing to be part of that, that legacy. We've had artists like Maroon 5, we've had Linkin Park, we've had Good Charlotte. So it's great that Honda has the opportunity to do this with Charlie. This is like my first tour my first chance to show who I truly am as a musician. I'm rusty, man. I call him a perfectionist, but I don't think he sees himself as that. He, he, that's the only option. That's my bad, I didn't explain that. I think because Charlie is so involved with the entire show, that supplies a level of pressure. Maybe we can like, take just two seconds. So, you bring a bike on tour. I do. I named it C-sharp because the bell is C-sharp. I didn't want to sing in the beginning because I was just so used to being told that I couldn't do it by kids my age at the time. The first time I ever performed was at this club called Birdland in New York City. I guess he was around 16 and it was open mic night. I was wearing a brown sweater because I saw Ross on Friends wear a brown sweater, so I thought that looked pretty cool on me. I was like the last to go on because nobody knew me. It was all these famous Broadway stars. I was just so petrified while I was sitting there hunched over behind that grand piano thinking, don't go off pitch, don't mess up. And I almost didn't do it. I almost walked out and uh, I just really wanted to impress my dad. I know that sounds kind of corny, but. I went to the bathroom. When I came back, he was up on stage, and he sang a James Taylor song. And it was really bad, but I felt like I had to get over my fear. I told him that if you want to be famous, you got to sing. The biggest thing that helped my confidence was having a fan base on YouTube. He was creating those songs, and people started to react to them in a way, and that broke the shell for him. For the first time, I was experiencing encouragement rather than discouragement. That really changed my life. I think for Charlie, his following is insane. Every day I get people going. I love Charlie, honestly, I do. Charlie is my life. My Wi-Fi is Charlie. I love you. I love you. His music it inspires me to push through every day. If I'm driving and the car to my left is listening to a new song from my album, that's a day-making moment for me. All right, here we go. One more song, and then I'll see you all at the show. My goal will always be to make people feel something. Inflate their sadness, inflate their happiness, anything. The fans push me, and hopefully in return I can inspire them too.